After you create a pivot table in Excel, you can create a pivot chart to show the data. So I've got a little pivot table with four categories and a quantity and price total for each of those. I'll create a column chart and then I'll change the quantity to a line so it stands out better. First I'll select a cell in this pivot table and then on the ribbon click insert. I'd like a column chart so I'll click here and I'll select the clustered column. So that gives a very simple chart. There's an orange column for each price and a very small blue column for the quantity. I'm going to change this now so that this is a line and it will be on a secondary axis so it's not so small. I'll right click on the chart and change chart type. We're using Excel 2013, so this is the change chart type window in this version. You can see that right now this is column, and I'm going down to combo. There are four options here, three built in, or you can create your own custom combo. So I could just go with a clustered column and line but I would like the clustered column with the line on a secondary axis. So I'll select that and it changes these options down here. So I now have clustered column for quantity and line for price. Now if I'd like this the other way around, I could select line here and clustered column here and put this one on the secondary axis. And once I'm done, I'll click OK. So now we have price still as a column and quantity has changed to a line and it's on a secondary axis so it stands out more in the chart. For more Excel tips and tutorials and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.